There once was a land called Palestine where Christians, Muslims and Jews lived fine in the 80s. For Saturday 21st of October, we're asking everybody to meet us in London at Marble Arch at 12 o'clock. As you know, over 2,000 Palestinians have been killed, thousands of whom are children, tens of thousands have been injured, and over a million have been displaced from their homes. This continuous bombing of Gaza must stop, and we want to show solidarity with our brothers and sisters in Palestine. So I am urging on behalf of Friends of Al-Aqsa, please let's get together, and every masjid in the country should hire a coach and come down to London this Saturday. So together we can show a united front and ask to stop of bombing of Gaza and show our solidarity with our brothers and sisters in Palestine. So I urge you, I beg you in fact, unashamedly, please join us in London on Saturday the 21st of October. Jazakallah khair. Where Christians, Muslims and Jews lived fine in the 1800s, it was ruled by the Ottoman Empire. Meanwhile, a bearded guy founded Zionists for Jews to aspire, a land that becomes their home and safe only for their kind. Then there was World War One that ended when the Allies won, and England was like, hey, this beautiful land is totally mine. Still, the name was Palestine, even though it was colonized, and a promise for a Zionist state was made by a man that had no right. Then more and more Jews arrived seeking refuge, and that's alright until their plan to steal the land was no longer to hide. The year was 1948 when Israel bullied its way into a state. Thousands of Palestinians fled their homes to survive. No right for return, no right for a home, no right to fight for the land that they owned. Israel expanded more and more into an apartheid. Where is your humanity? Where is your respect for dignity? Call it conflict, that's insanity It's time to change your mind One day Palestine will be free So be on the right side of history You're not anti-Semitic If you stand against war crimes Don't be brainwashed by the news Now you can see for yourself the truth Learn about the story Story of Palestine